Um, aftercare tips. Definitely spit on it, rub it and grab it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was turned on to an aftercare product, Saniderm. I'm sponsored by Saniderm, so for me, I, I mostly use Saniderm. For me personally, it's definitely a, a second skin or an aftercare, like something, the medical tapes type stuff. I utilize second skin because it's not so sticky. What I love about this product, being that it's based off of a medical grade product as well, the ability to let the skin do what the skin does, right? Because it's regenerative. That adhesive is a barrier to the elements, also allowing the skin to breathe outward. And then once that's removed, all you have to do is, is moisturize, right? All of the healing happens underneath there and you can live your life and do what you gotta do and you're clean, you're protected. The wounds being taken care of, it's, it's amazing. The downside, there are some allergies to the adhesive. Some clients do get the, they have like redness or they have a little bit of adhesive problems with their skin because their skin might be sensitive. People are gonna hate me for this, but I don't do second skin just because second skin kind of frightens me. I've known people who have allergic reactions to the adhesive and then it causes the whole tattoo itself to be either infected or go through things that it should have not if it was just, you know, regular wrap, take off at home, let it dry out, clean, keep it clean. For those who don't use Saniderm, I really like to keep it simple. So normally I would just go like the old school way and give them some ointment and just make sure, you know, you know, we'll do the saran wrap for an hour take it off, warm water. Just a non-scented antibacterial soap. I like to just kind of like gently wash my hands. Lather soap with your hands, wash it off. Put it all over the tattoo, rinse it off. Take a fresh paper towel, dab it dry, wait for it to dry. Pat dry, that kind of thing. Let it kind of sit for like five, 10 minutes. When it gets tight, I put a little bit of lotion on there. And I do that three to four times a day as necessary. I always like to have them air dry it throughout the night though too, just so that it kind of gets a little bit of a breather and then like twice a day, put some ointment on. Keeping the tattoo as clean as possible, right? Finding a happy balance between dry and, and, and moist. So personally, me and Aquaphor are not friends. Um, Aquaphor causes all my ink to fall out. It's just not the best for me. So I always tell people whenever they like, are like, mm, what's your best suggested thing? I'm a dry healer. I love a good Lubriderm heal. I like Lubriderm just cause it's basic, but like really anything non-scented. How much did they use? Uh, just enough to, to cover the entire tattoo. You don't need a lot. It just depends on the size of the tattoo. No shiny tattoos. Guys, please, girls. Millennials, what were the other ones? Gen Z. Gen Z's, baby boomers. Cleanliness is of utmost importance with tattoos because they are open wounds. And a lot of us don't think about that because we're so stoked about this lion and pocket watch that we got, right? We want to fucking show it off so it's greased up and it's shiny because shiny things pull people in. Not with tattoos. No, no shiny tattoos. That's, that's the worst. You're suffocating your skin. It's a breeding ground for bacteria. Breeding ground. Like you're almost guaranteeing you're gonna have a loss of, of saturation and value, but more importantly, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna get an infection one way or another, right? So really starting with small amounts on clean hands and really working whatever that topical medication is into the skin and then wiping off the excess. That is, gosh, that is everything. You know, the, in, the this is gonna sound absolutely crazy, but the best thing to do sometimes is nothing. Whenever I focus too much on having a tattoo, I instantly mess it up. I'll sit there, I'll see a piece and be like, that's gonna flake off, I could just pick it, and then it bleeds. So I always tell people, forget you have it, but not in a way where it'll make you go jump into the ocean or walk out in the sun and let it burn on your leg. Don't go swimming. Like, I don't care how cool you think it's gonna be with your friends, like don't go spend money on a tattoo and then jump in a pool because I guarantee you it's probably gonna ruin it and you're gonna be really pissed off. Definitely some Lubriderm, some dry healing, keep it clean. But I always tell people if they do use Aquaphor and I look at their tattoos and they look like they've all healed beautifully, I'm like, 
just keep using Aquaphor because I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. But if you're ever having troubles with Aquaphor, Luberderm is like my number one. It's a medical grade lotion, so like you really can't go wrong with it. They give it to everybody at the hospital. <laughs> Definitely after that first day, you want to be sure that you have like an extra sheet on your bed just in case that you get any extra ink on there because that always is a bummer when people, they're like, oh, I didn't know I was gonna leak. And I'm like, yeah, well, so that happens. But yeah, pretty standard, easy peasy.